summer shopping haul, so I went to Bulk Barn and Costco. So I'll show you what I picked up at Bulk Barn first. So some uh, unsalted, unseasoned, dry roasted peanuts. Some rolled oats, these are the large flakes. And also got some steel cut oats. And some cinnamon. So steel cut oats, these I have pretty much every day for breakfast. Uh, the rolled oats, I'll use those from time to time in, uh, with the almond milk and for making bean burgers. I usually get to Costco probably once every three weeks so normally it's a fairly big haul. Here we have some strawberries, this is just two pounds. Next up we have some grape tomatoes. I like to use these in dressing with mango. And then we have some medjool dates. Then we have some organic raisins. This is the first time buying these. And then we got some sprouted spelt flour. Again, first time for this. And then some Silver Hills, the Big 16 bread. I like to use these for my bean burgers. And then we got some baby spinach and some baby romaine lettuce, which are great for salads. Next up, we got some baking soda. Some magic baking powder. Got a bag of russet potatoes, Canada number one. You want to make sure you got Canada number one and don't get number two. And I got some Bob Red, Bob's Red Mill steel cut oats. First time buying those. And then I got a box of Quaker Quick Oats. I like to use these in smoothies, things where you're blending it up, but it doesn't really matter. So I also could use use it to make some oat flour. Next up is all the frozen stuff. So I got three bags of uh, frozen peaches and cream corn. This is organic corn. I got a bag of organic green peas. Here's a couple bags of organic sliced strawberries. Usually they don't have these. And here's three bags of uh, whole blueberries frozen. I like to use the blueberries and strawberries in my steel cut oats in the morning. So next up, Safeway. That's where I get my organic bananas. Uh, I'm not sure how much was here. I'll have to add that up, but uh, came out to less than thirty dollars. So usually when I go through this many bananas, I I always get the you know do you have a monkey at home or you know today was. You know, is this for some kids at your school or, you know, why so many bananas? So, you know, I just say it's all for me and um, I'm the monkey. So, usually I just use that as a way to inform them, you know, like, I usually what I do is I let them ripen and then I freeze them, put them in Ziploc bags and then I use them to make banana ice cream. You can mix that with any other type of fruit. Just blend that up, or if you have a food processor or a Unana's machine. So I just try to use that to educate them and show them that, you know, there are other ways to eat bananas just besides eating them like they are. So 